The first day. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and empty. Darkness was everywhere, and in the darkness, the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that it was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there were evening and morning, the first day. The second day, God said, Let there be a sky in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Then God made the sky, and he separated the waters above from the waters below. God called the sky heaven, and there were evening and morning the second day. The third day, God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters he called sea. And he said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and yield plants bearing seed, and trees bearing fruit. The earth did so, and God saw that it was good. This was the third day. The fourth day, God said, Let there be lights in the sky of heaven to divide the day from the night. Let them be for signs and for seasons, for days and for years. Let them be for lights in the sky of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He also made the stars and set them in the sky of the heaven to give them light upon the earth to roll over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good. This was the fourth day. The fifth day, God said, Let the waters bring forth in great numbers, moving creatures that have life, and let birds fly above the earth in the open sky of heaven. So God created great whales and every living creature that moves. These the waters forth in great numbers. He created the birds and saw that all this was good. He blessed the creatures and said, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill waters in the seas. Let the birds also multiply on earth. This was the fifth day. The sixth day, God said, Let the earth bring forth creatures of all kinds, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth. Earth did so, and God saw that this was good. Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let him have power over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over everything that moves on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created man and woman. Male and female created he them. And he blessed them, and he said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, and have power over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Behold, I have given you every plant bearing seed, and every tree yielding fruit, which in, is upon the face of the earth. They shall be your food. To every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, to everything that creeps upon the earth and has life. I have given the grass and the plants for food, and it was so. God saw everything that he made, and it was very good. This was the sixth day. The seventh day, the heavens and the earth were finished and filled with life. On the seventh day, God rested from his work and all that he had made. God blessed the seventh day and made it a holy day, because on the day he had rested. This is how the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant before it was in the earth, and every tree of the field before it grew. And when God had made man, a mist had gone up from the earth and had watered the whole surface of the ground. The Lord God had formed man of the dust of the ground and had breath into him, and the breath of life, and man had become a living soul.